The first extraction has a plot for sure. How strong is it? Um, shut up. But what made the first extraction really enjoyable to me is the action. It's like on that John level, Wick level of action. It's incredible. Chris Hemsworth is fun, but besides from him, uh, there are other characters for sure. How good are they? Shut up. Don't, no, 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 no. we don't talk about that. But with the release of Extraction 2, I am happy to say that I think it surpasses the film, the first film in every aspect. The action is better. The characters are better. The story is better. And whereas I feel like the first film really only existed to get Chris Hemsworth's character of Tyler to different action sequences this one feels a lot more natural sometimes it takes a little bit of a hit to the action those who are going for the action experience in the sense of they're not coming as frequently you're not getting a new action scene every 10 minutes all the time but the exchange of that is you get some good character moments some moments that actually make you care about the plot it's not going to be some oscar winning super dramatic plot or anything like that it's nothing crazy but it's there but it gives a lot more context to a lot of these action sequences and gives you more reason to actually care about what's going on and the people who are fighting there's one sequence in like the first 40 minutes of this movie first half an hour there is a it, it's simulated so it's so it's stitched together through a few small edits here and there a 21 minute wonder action sequence good lord it's crazy one of the cool things about this movie is the director sam hargrave is an ex stuntman so he knows what to do he knows how to fall dude is a madman quite frankly i love watching the behind the scenes for these movies you see him like jumping off of cars in this movie in the simulated oneer they have chris hemsworth shooting blanks at an actual helicopter they land like really land practically a helicopter on top of a moving train it is crazy and this one sequence is worth the admission alone it's worth watching and then go and watch the behind the scenes it's crazy man you see them like passing the camera off handing the camera into cars they're on like a bike and then they'll hand the camera into one car and then out the other car onto another bike so that we can watch the car that we were just in just blow up it's crazy it's awesome the action is the star of this movie and while the characters in this again they're a lot better developed and things like that you stay for the action but the story itself will keep you interested the film is written by joe russo of russo brothers fame and i think that of these like action spy movies that the russo seem to have been producing the last few years movies like the gray man and things like that i think this one is one of the better ones because like i said the action's better the story's better the characters are better in the first film tyler has a backstory because it feels like he needs a backstory but this one they actually explore that they actually explore the depths of his character and why he did certain things in the first film in his past i found that stuff way more enjoyable and it leads to some good moments of chris hemsworth being allowed to dramatic act those were some really strong moments and while i hate to be yet another person to compare this movie to john wick i'm gonna do it in a good way i think if this franchise keeps expanding with new colorful characters like this one did they introduced a big actor who cameos in this movie with hints towards future installments i think if they keep fleshing this universe out it can get to be on the level of john wick is just because of how good sam hargrave is more so than almost any other movie i've seen this year i've never been so impressed with a director i've never been so interested in a director in wanting to watch all the behind the scenes and having him explain everything about the movie how they did it dude is an all-star and i think one of the best directing performances i've seen this year a phenomenal movie i'm gonna give extraction a seven and a half thanks for watching hear more reviews check him out lots of reviews bye